Tokyo. In her first medal event of the Tokyo Olympics, Katie Ledetsky did not win, and the natural reaction from a casual fan to Ledetsky finishing anywhere other than in first place might be surprise or disappointment. Neither, in this case, is justified. Ledetsky did lose a lead and a gold medal Monday at the Olympics when Australia's Ariane Titmus caught her down the stretch in the 400-meter freestyle to win one of the most dramatic competitions of the first week of the Tokyo Games. Titmus coach, Dean Boxall, did become the subject of a million memes about Whitesnake's rhythm guitarist or the evils of failed experimental party drugs when he writhed and exulted in the stands, even scaring away a volunteer who tried to calm him. Titmus did become unquestionably the world's best in the event, becoming the first woman to beat Ledetsky in an individual Olympic final. So did Ledetsky lose, or win? Did she get upset, or beaten by someone who is at least her equal at this point in their careers? Ledetsky is a legend, but Titmus is a rising star. Ledetsky is 24, Titmus is 20. Titmus beat Ledetsky in the 400 at the World Championships in 2019 although Ledetsky was ill at the time. Titmus' time at her country's Olympic trials was much better than Ledecky's at the U.S. trials. And beating Ledetsky required a dramatic comeback from the younger swimmer. The unbeatable athlete is an enduring myth, but it is a myth. Certainly a tough race, Ledetsky said. I think we delivered. You can't get much better than that. Tremendous race, a lot of fun. I can't be too disappointed with that. That was my second best swim ever. I felt like I fought tooth and nail, and that's all you can ask for. It was her second best time ever in the 400 free, which should be specified and emphasized because Ledetsky has more miles to swim. After winning silver in the morning in Tokyo, she returned to the pool and swam the eighth fastest 1,500 free ever. She has the other seven, too and the fastest 200 free prelim of the day. She won her 200 free semifinal heat with a time of 1 minute 55 seconds and 34 milliseconds. Titmus topped the other heat in 1 minute 54 seconds and 82 milliseconds. The finals of both events are 73 minutes apart on Wednesday morning, Tuesday night Minnesota time. While Ledecky's chance at an improbable perfect Olympics is gone, she joins the likes of Michael Phelps as all-time greats whose reputations weren't damaged by the occasional display of competitive vulnerability. Phelps won two bronze medals in Greece in 2004 and two silvers in London in 2012. He need not be ashamed of them any more than Ledetsky should be ashamed of getting overtaken by a rising star. Plus, Ledetsky doesn't have time to brood. As she spoke at a news conference after the race on Monday afternoon in Tokyo, she was looking forward to bussing back to the Olympic Village, putting her legs up for a couple of hours, then heading back to the pool for her other events. She's great enough that beating her unleashed disparate emotions.